today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Canon drivers or just about any Canon printer you have on your computer to allow you to set up your printer connected to your computer. So we're going to select that. You want to click on this drivers and downloads area and then it's going to say enter a model down here. So you could type in MG. And then once you have that in here, you want to click on the go button. And now you want to go up and make sure that the printer matches your printer in this illustration up here. And you can see it up here it says the operating system. If you want to select a different version of the Windows OS. And then click on the download button. And then once it's finished downloading, you want to click on the executable to run it. And you do want to make sure it's a verified publisher and it says Canon Inc. here. I would highly recommend you check that. Don't just click on yes. You want to make sure you're getting it directly from Canon and then click on yes. So depending on what driver software you're downloading, it might look a little bit different than this. So I'm just going to put that out there. So it's going to say starting the software installation, follow the on-screen instructions. Select next. And again, this is going to look different depending on what printer you select. So don't be surprised if your appearance is a little bit different than mine. So I'm going to select next here. After you look through the end user license agreement, you want to select yes. And then select next one more time. And then it will begin downloading and installing the software at this moment. And now you want to follow along with the ideal connection. So if this is going to be using a USB connection up here as this printer, you want to make sure you plug it in. If it has wireless capabilities, you might be prompted if you want to explore that option as well. You want to just follow along with whatever is most applicable to you guys. So pretty straightforward. So at this point, it's just telling us to turn on the computer and it's even pointing to us where on the printer we should turn it on. So it really can't be any more straightforward than that. So I'm just going to close out of here. 